I thought George had a pretty good idea, so I'm going to do one too. Ah, good evening YouTube. I'm here with you on a Wednesday evening. It's uh, 8.47 in the evening. I was just watching George's video uh, on how he makes videos. And of course, you know, that got me to thinking, hey, I need to do one of those. So, <laughs> this is kind of my my video's response to his video, I guess, or whatever. But uh, this is basically how I do it. This is, you guys recognize this area. This is my bench. This is where the magic happens. And normally, when I shoot these uh, videos, I shoot it with two cameras. And we're going to look at those now. First camera is the Kodak ZE-1, which you can see is sitting on the in the uh, screwdriver holder. I found that's a perfect place to sit and look at me <laughs> while I'm talking. You know I like to flap. Um, so I usually do my intros there on that one. Sometimes, sometimes I don't, I'm not in the mood to do it or whatever. I just go ahead and go to the other camera. And the other camera is this one right here which is the uh, Sony Bloggy Touch and it's on the camera boom as you can see there and it's pretty much movable any way I need to move it you know I can put it down put it up around you know you've seen me do that a bunch of times so you know um, so that's how I make where I shoot the videos nine times out of ten now I have I have obviously made videos other places but this is uh, my main studio if you will for making videos and uh, I'm gonna do a little side note here you can see I have been a little bit busy over here I've taken the uh, uh, old uh, box with the meters and everything uh, the old power supply out I've got the uh, receptacle out I'm gonna have to climb underneath there and unplug the uh, electric or, or else I'd, I'm gonna get shocked <laughs> And I've gotten shocked before here doing this, trying to do it without unplugging the thing. So I'm not going to do that again, and I'm going to unplug it. But, all right, that's just an aside. But anyway, uh, back to uh, this. I, I generally, like I said, I shoot uh, shoot my videos here at the most using two cameras. And um, if I do that, you know, when I go back to uh, the uh, living room to uh, do the uh, post-production, as they call it, editing, whatever you want to call it, uh, I take both cameras in with me, and uh, I generally I'll, I'll I'll take the video off of this camera first, and then once the uh, video has, uh, well I'm I'm not getting ahead of myself again. So anyway, like I said, this is uh, uh, this is going to have an addition very soon, and I'm going to point you up here. This is uh, there's going to be a microphone on both speakers, hanging right in front of the speaker. And, and then Kimmy Tech will be in the middle somewhere, um, plugged in and recording. And uh, when that happens, I probably will use a sync type of signal. I, I, I prefer the uh, 321 type stuff. That's, that's what I usually use. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do with that. Uh, hopefully by the time the fish is ready to go. So um, that's where, where, like I say, once I record all my... Um, video footage, my raw footage I should say, I take both cameras into the living room and to the computer in there. Oh, by the way, I'm shooting this on my Kodak uh, Play, Play Touch uh, at uh, just uh, WVGA. That was another thing I want to point out. Nine times out of ten, in fact almost always, the ZE-1 is in WVGA and this Sony is in um, 720p. Now, I have no problems mixing the uh, footage, the raw footage, in one video. It, it all comes out. You guys have seen how the videos come out. They really can't tell the difference. I mean, that one shot in one, one shot in the other, unless you really look close. But, uh, like I said, that's the way I do it. I'm a pretty simple guy. You, 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 won't, <laughs> you won't see any, uh, other than the Kimmy Tech that I'm going to be playing around with here for long, uh, you don't see any, uh, any kind of uh, mic mics or recording audio recordings things like that here I use the camera audio and generally it's it's more than adequate even when I'm recording to that camera over there 
it picks up my voice very well. I do usually talk loud enough to where it can be heard easily. And I try to shoot my uh, my videos to where, and this is what I've always done, is where you can turn the, the uh, volume up on your computer about halfway and hear my voice uh, comfortably. And I find that is about the, the correct setting because uh, a lot of people can't hear as well and they need to turn it up and they can turn it up. It's 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 hard though if you if you record it at the top of the uh, setting. In other words, if you have to turn your volume on your computer up all the way to hear somebody, then you you know low 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 talking or something like that you can't hear. And I found that with a lot of movies that I've watched, they they have the audio way too low on them. So anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Like I said, let's go into the living room now, and I'll show you what I do in there. All right, well, here we are in the living room, as you can tell, I think. Let me put you up above there real quick. You can see that is the living room. This is my computer monitor. Um, I generally come in here and sit down and in my chair, and I'll take this USB extension cable. Now, mine's not as long as George's. And plug that into one camera at a time. And port the footage from one camera, and I'll name the... Uh, I'll use the import off of uh, uh, Windows that the Windows import whatever, and with that you can you can name your uh, file, and I usually name it something relevant like uh, uh, flapping again was the last one I think I did, um, and I'll, like I said I'll do the uh, Sony camera first, and as soon as the footage is in, uh, into the computer, I'll take it, unplug it, lay it up there on that uh, pedestal right there and uh, go ahead and do the other camera and uh, while uh, I'll also name that the same name so it goes into the same folder when it imports the files and I always set my uh, files uh, to uh, erase automatically from the camera these to me are time saving uh, tips and uh, also uh, like I said once I get the um, files off of the ZE-1. I will just leave it lay here on the arm cushion and it's got a flashing light on it when it's charging. And I'll leave that charged while I'm editing the video. And like I said, I use the uh, video pad editor, which I think a lot of you know. And I can just, well I actually go up here. I've got my own little thing that I use. Here I bring it up that way. It's got my intro in it. And I say my intro, I'm talking about the little, well, I'll play it for you and you see what I'm talking about. This is everything but the uh, um, voice that I, the, I do the recording, recorded voice. And I do that sitting here too, so it's usually where I talk right there. And it goes into that, goes to there, and ends up with the picture of the desk, which I usually cross fade into my video. Now, when I, when I record this, there's a record button in, in video pad. Just do that, record audio, and then you hit the red button, and I say whatever I want to say. I can just sit here and do that because I've got a microphone over here. Right there. And that's where I record the audio. And then I take and once it's recorded, I'll drag it down into this lower track right down here. First thing I'll do is is I edit the uh, audio because sometimes a lot of times there's a big long tail or a big long beginning if I don't say something right away and I'll edit that. You can edit things like that in this well not this screen but this screen I should say and you can edit things here and I can go over here to this part here and, and I could click cut right there that would end the uh, video right there. So that's a, it's a quick editor that you can use in uh, video pad. Like I said, I, I usually do that with the audio, uh, first audio thing. And uh, like I said, once I get my uh, my uh, audio, you can just click up where it says Add Files, and they'll be you'll find them in the same directory because I always import my files uh, from my camera into a import import directory and it, it, it goes by date and the name I file of my files that I, I gave the name to 
and I can find all of the video files there and I'll, I'll click on all of those and just import them all at once and then they will appear here where it says video files they'll be here and I, I generally take the first one and uh, just like if it was this one here I could just click on that it says place clip on sequence that will place the uh, clip that I've selected right there right at the end you know you can see it right here where the red red is that's where it will it will put it so that's what I would do and uh, and go ahead and then I, I usually go on down here and I'll get the uh, there's usually a, a part on the front of it that I don't want I'll go ahead and click that off get that rid of that get this to where I want it and then I'll click this X and I'll use the crossfade to crossfade into that clip and then the rest of them, I, I you know, if there's more of them, I'll, I'll go ahead. Each one I add to the sequence once it gets to the end. And when I get to that X on the between them, I'll just let, usually select the blur, the blur, and go between them until I get to the last bit, and then I use a fade. And then once I do that, if I if I have any uh, files to add, like uh, schematics, pictures that I've taken, or pictures I found on the internet, or whatever. You know it's easy enough to put them up in this track here and if you if you want to incorporate them to this you can if you don't you don't have to or whatever text is the same way if I want to add text you can just go up here to add I usually add title that and that brings that up and you, you can put your text in just like that you can put it in the center if you want it in the center or you can put it on the right if you want it in the right or whatever and like I say once you get it uh, there you can take and move it anywhere you want to click the X and just go grab it like that, and you can move it anywhere you want. See, now I've moved it down here. Let me look at it see on the thing. See, I've moved it down there. So, you can move it anywhere you want. It's it's a very easy program to use. <clears throat> Sorry, Bill, but it is. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is uh, not going to be used for anything, so I'm just going to click on that, cut it. So, we've got that. We've gone back to that. And like I say, I go ahead and edit. I generally can edit a video... In an hour's time, get it rendered and uploaded, close to you know right at an hour, uh, depending on on how complicated it is. Obviously, if it's just something simple with maybe three or four clips in it, and it's just a matter of dragging them one after the other or whatever, and and then like I say, I always insert my ending, which is the blue ending right here, and like I say, I'll, I'll put this over here. Whoops, wrong voice, and then I'll click on this. And place clip on sequence, and you see it puts it right behind that. And now, one problem I have been having with this is I'm gonna play this. That's extremely loud, and I always have to go through here and hit this, and I bring up the the volume level because it take it down around 50 percent. Whoops, I got my. There, let's see, 50 percent. And then you click OK. Now you can see I play it again. It's a little bit softer. So that's about where I like to keep it right there. But I have tried taking this into like a Windows Movie Maker and decreasing the volume on it and then putting it back into here. And it comes back just as loud every time. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So anyway, that's, <laughs> that's how I do that. And like I said, once you get it done, you go up here to where it says export video and I choose video file and I use I have been using uh, uh, WVGA for a long time now I've went I've went because of the Sony camera I go with the 1280 by 720 or the 720p and just like I said any of the footage that's in WVGA comes out just fine and I go ahead and give the uh, file a name and then uh, hit export or create or whatever it is down there and that creates the uh, that's probably the longest thing about uh, doing the video for me is the rendering. It takes a good while to do that. Uploading, uploading goes pretty fast. I don't have any problem uploading. But uh, and then once I upload it, you you know it, you've seen what it, what it is, what's involved in uploading. So I don't really need to show you any of that. But that's how I do a video. I mean, <laughs> I, mine are not as near as involved as uh, George's. But I think they come out pretty good. I don't think they're too bad with, uh, like I said, just the camera audio and stuff like that. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's a look at how I do it. 
Uh, if I missed anything, if you have any questions or anything, just like I say, leave a comment, and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. But uh, again, I have got this down to a pretty good science to where I can shoot a video once it's done. I've got it in the camera, the raw footage. I can I can upload the or uh, download the uh, camera footage to the computer, uh, edit the file, render it, and get it uploaded. I'd say at the most probably an hour and a half is probably the longest it takes for doing that. And I have done it in an hour's time. So uh, that's generally you guys can you can watch my videos and you'll see when it's uh, actually posted and when what time it's displaying. You know, because I always give the time at the beginning uh, when I start you know recording and things. So anyway, that's a, a quick look at. <laughs> okay, it's not quick. You guys know me. I'm not going to do anything quick. <laughs> but this is not a flapping video. So, Bill, don't worry about that. You know, if I was bound and determined to flap, I could get in there and flap with the best of them. So, uh, I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm not going to lose that title. Um, anyway, like I say, this is about it for me. Uh, and like I say, I'm doing this on my play touch. So, uh, you guys have a pleasant evening. It's a little after 9 now, 9.07. And uh, I'm going to try to get this up as quick as I can. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.